TOEFL Integrated Writing Task. Writing based on reading and listening. For this task, you'll read a passage about an academic topic. A clock at the top right of your screen will tell you how much time you have to read. You should take notes in the passage while you read. The passage will then be removed and you will listen to a lecture on the same topic. As you listen, you should also take notes. You will be able to see the reading passage again when it is time for you to write. You may use your notes to help you answer the question. You will then be asked to write a response that asks you about the relationship between the lecture to which you just listened and the reading passage. Using information from the reading passage in the lecture, answer the question as completely as possible. Please note that this question does not ask you for your personal opinion. Your response will be judged on the quality of your writing and on the completeness and accuracy of the content.
Social networks are constantly being criticized because they are said to promote a false sense of celebrity or community. Many people do not understand or want to understand why people insist on joining a social network. In order to understand social networks like Facebook and Twitter, we have to look at technology and how it affects our daily lives. The fundamental argument of social networks is that it takes away our face-to-face -face interaction because we are communicating through a computer. If we look back at communication before technological advancements like the Internet, we will see that soldiers, housewives, and even presidents wrote letters to communicate. Social networks like Facebook work in the same way, but instead provide instant communication among people in towns, cities, and countries around the world. One can argue that getting to know a friend or becoming friends with a person does not mean you have to meet. Traditional places of where to meet people have changed because of the Internet. In the past, diners or drive-ins were places to socialize and meet people. When I was younger, we had the pen pal system. You wrote letters to a pen pal and he or she would write back. The users getting to know a friend or following a friend much in the same way that pen pals wrote letters to each other when I was young. Along with traditional ways of making friends, social networks are simply another way to make friends in a modern technological society. If social networks are the new norm of modern society, then addicted to social networks may not carry as much weight. Addiction can be redefined as routine or habitual because social networks are now part of the social norm. To say someone is addicted to social networks is to say that the person is addicted to the social norms and everyday customs of modern American society. Father, mother, teenagers, and even politicians use social networks to communicate and create friendships. Perhaps those who do, do not participate in social networks can be viewed as repressed because they refuse to assimilate into the current technological and societal advancements. Read the question below. Use the remaining time indicated to plan and write your response. Your response will be judged on the quality of your writing as well as how well your response presents the points in the lecture and the relationship to the reading passage. Typically, an effective response consists of 150 to 225 words. Summarize the main points in the lecture showing how they cast out on the main points in the reading passage. Pause the video to begin writing your response now.